Hello everyone, hope you're well. I'm doing an updated what's in my bag video for you guys today and this was actually my first ever video, the what's in my bag tag and I just thought it's been six months since I did my last video and I love watching these because I'm nosy basically and I just thought I'd redo it and I know lots of you guys enjoy watching these sort of videos as well and it sort of gives a break from the white background that I always have and as you guys will probably figure out this is my room so yeah I'm just going to get on with the um, tag, I don't really want to drag this on too much and I hope you guys enjoy it but um, firstly I have done something a bit different with my hair I've done this sort of um, low ponytail with a poof and the poof is actually a lot more visible in real life I promise you but yes there is a definite sort of poof and um, tell me if you guys like it, I'm not very good at hair so please try not to ask for a tutorial but um, if you guys are really adamant then I might do something like it because it's so easy. And on my nails I'm wearing Topshop's Aeroplane which stains your nails like a B word basically. But I'm prepared to live with it and I also put a lighter shade underneath in case to, to see if it stops it from staining but um, it's a gorgeous sort of muted blue and I really like that. So yeah those are some of the questions I get asked and um, yeah I'm just going to get on with the video. This is my bag. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it before in my videos. And it's basically a Balenciaga knockoff with a strap. And I got this bag from Camden Market. I have had so many of you guys message me personally on YouTube, obviously, asking me where I got it. And it was £25, again, from Camden Market. And for all of you who would like to get this bag, go to Camden and just keep your eyes mega peeled. And I just think you guys need to just go there and really, really search. So if you want this bag, just sort of keep searching for it and hopefully you guys will find it. So it's basically a black bag with a load of like hardware on it. And I justified getting this because it's not like a Louis Vuitton bag where if someone's looking at me in the street they'll be like, you know, at my age, you'll look at me and you'll say, you know, is that Louis Vuitton really real? This is more of a cult bag. It's something that if you know what it is, you'll know what it is. If you don't, you don't. So Anyone who's none the wiser will just think, you know, it's a bag from Topshop or H&M. So, yes, that's why I justified buying my little baby. And yes, I do call my bag my baby. I'm sure a lot of you guys do that as well. Hopefully, I'm not mad. But I'm just going to get on with the video. So, first thing is water. I'm trying to keep myself very hydrated at the moment. It's good for my skin. I can definitely see the difference in my skin when I'm eating properly, when I'm drinking water. And... I'm being a good girl and I'm carrying water around with me. So especially when I'm studying, I try and drink a lot of water. Then I have an item that has to make an appearance in every single one of my videos. It's my Alexander McQueen-esque scarf that I got from The End, a boutique in Watford. So yeah, it was £10, I think. Because I'm a bit of a fatty, I have a half-eaten Quinta Bueno. Yummy, yummy. Might keep this to the side so I can eat the rest of it. Um... Kleenex because I have hay fever in the summer, in the spring summer, so um, both of my eyes and nose get a bit watery sometimes. A bit too much information. And then I have my sunglasses. These are from H&M. So um, yeah, they're the really huge bug ones. I'm not going to put them on because I do look a bit silly and my best friend will probably um, we herself laughing, so I'm not going to put them on if she's watching. But um, yeah, they're from H&M and they were three, five pounds, five pounds get myself confused with Primark prices. Then I have rubbish receipts. I'm not going to show you guys all of my rubbish. I have the Vanilla Body Mist by The Body Shop, which smells divine, especially for the sort of spring, summer. Can you guys hear the birds? They're not going to sing again, but um, it's lovely weather here in the UK. And um, yeah, this smells divine. So I had this in my first what's in my bag video as well. So I love this. And it's still kind of lasted me ages. There's the bird. Or birds. Um, I have a huge tree next, like, nearish my window. Then because I'm a loser, I have a list. Yes, that's right, a list. Um, I did this list when I had to go to Westfields, which was about two weeks ago. So that says a lot about me and my bag. Well, the contents of my bag, so it's my little list of rubbish. 
Pepper magazine. Grazia is the best magazine in the world and Rai Rai or Rihanna, whatever, is at the front. I love her and um, I love this magazine. So I can't really afford Vogue so Grazia is the next best thing. Then we have my phone. It's a Blackberry something something. Um, there's a picture of me and my best friend in Paris. Yay! Um, and a pink cover. Speaking of this pink cover, I must have taken this phone out in chemistry and my teacher saw me with it and since that day she will not stop going on that my favourite colour is pink. So from this phone cover she has sort of assumed that my favourite colour is pink and every time we do a practical a sort of experiment and two things will react together to make something pink she'll say okay Barbara guess what colour they make and I'm just like pink because she thinks my favourite colour is pink and pink is not my favourite colour so yeah this is um, the reason why sorry I just got a text the reason why my chemistry teacher thinks I like pink I just kind of like pink blackberry covers it's not my fault but um, yeah that's my phone little story for you guys there as usual with me then I have my makeup bag in my first what's in my bag video I said to you guys that I don't really carry makeup around with me but lately I have been I think in the summer months I tend to do it a lot more or in the springtime so I've been carrying around my makeup bag with me this is from H&M and it's cute it's quite old and it's got little roses <laughs> it's pink I know it's pink but um Maybe my chemistry teacher is allowed to say what she says, but um, yeah, it's from H&M and it was like £5, I think. It's quite old. So I'm just going to take stuff out of it. First is my new most favourite bronzer. Ever. This is the bronzing powder and mine's the colour 52 and it's the chocolate one. I'm sorry, but how cute is this to sort of take out of your um, bag? Did you like the little action I just did? Take out. I'm crazy. Um, and it looks like this. It's gorgeous and it smells lovely. Not like chocolate, but um, yeah. Let me um, get this out of the way and let my best friend have another giggle. I carry around a comb to do my um, middle parting. So um, yeah, have a good laugh, Maz, if you're watching. Then I have the Body Shop's Cocoa Butter Lip Treatment thing. What do they call it? I don't know. Lip Butter really like that. Then I have an essence brush that I use for the bronzer and Claudia got this for me in a swap. really like that brush so thank you. Then I have a little mini um, Burberry London perfume that I got from Boots at the counter. Oh it smells lovely. Mm -hmm. Then I have one of my favourite lipsticks ever and it's the 17 brand Beehive, which looks like this. Don't need to swatch it, I'm sure you guys have seen a hell of a lot of swatches, if not from me, from other people on that lipstick. Then I have the Sleek Cajal, or Cajal, did I even pronounce it differently there? Cajal, or Cajal, Cajal. This um, Sleek liner thing. Which is, a, which is okay, I wouldn't say it's the best thing in the world, but I carry that around with me sometimes. Then I have the Revlon Grow Luscious Mascara, and I do carry this around with me because I absolutely love it so much, and I love it even when I touch up, because I think sometimes with mascaras, when you touch them up, they make your eyelashes look really sort of spidery, but this one doesn't seem to do that, even when I touch up with it. And again, it's the Revlon Grow Luscious Mascara. And I was sent this by Revlon. And I didn't really think anything of it. And I'd actually tried my friends, but again, I didn't really think anything of it at the time. But this mascara is genuinely one of the best mascaras I've ever used, if not the best. I love this. I, my colour is black and brown, but I'll probably get the black one next time. And I really love this. I don't know if it's doing anything for my lashes in the sense that it's making them actually grow really strange hand movements today, I'm going to stop. Um, but in the fact that it lengthens my lashes when I've got mascara on, when I put this on, it definitely does that and it's also quite 
volumizing as well so I love this then my new favorite concealer the collection 2000 lasting perfection and my color is medium 3 for all of you guys who always ask me it's amazing I might even get one to sort of carry around in my bag because this is the only one I have and I tend to sort of put it in my makeup bag then another product that I was sent from Revlon is this lip gloss in crystal lilac and it's a gorgeous gorgeous sort of your lips but better nudey sort of pink it's not nude it's definitely kind of again your lips but better and I would actually compare this to ample ample pink plush glass by MAC which I'm wearing at the moment um, but this actually has blue crystals in it which make your teeth look really really white so that's the applicator I really love this right up my street and these are nice because they're not sticky at all and they don't leave that sort of white residue which a lot of MAC lip glosses seem to do like underage so I love this and then lastly I have my favourite MAC lipstick of all time Hue, this is Hue Hue, H-U-E, Hue <laughs> it's the perfect pinky nude and it lives in my bag most of the time so that's my makeup bag then I have my keys um, it's basically this little pouch my keys that dangle off it and the mirror is broken but um, the reason I sort of carry this around mostly is because it's easy to sort of pick out my bag and lastly I have my purse which is from Topshop and it's really nice sort of leather and it's got junk in it my college card that I will not show you Costa card which is just, I love Costa at the moment it's just amazing, the coffee's a lot better I think than Starbucks although I've said this to a lot of people I love Costa coffee coffee, but I love Starbucks atmosphere if that makes sense I, w I can't really see myself ever sitting in Costa so that's just my little philosophy on coffee shops I have a Pizza Express voucher yay my best friend and I used that a little while ago I've been waiting for my boot club card for I think about 7 months so I still have my temporary one I need to call them up Debenhams club card and oh yeah my oyster card 16 plus for all of you who don't believe me that I'm 18 um, and probably the most interesting thing in my purse my Nando stamp collecting thing and yes, this does say a lot about me because I get a free half chicken and then a free chicken. So, booyah. I love Nando's. I think this is like my 10th one. So, um, yeah. And um, yeah, that's my bag. Nice and empty now. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I love watching these, like I said. I will see you all very soon. I hope you're all enjoying the sunshine.